Hello everyone, welcome to iX Studio Sessions. It's the second episode. I'm Chris, your host for these sessions together with our co-host, Anthony. How are you doing today, Anthony? I'm doing great, thank you. Chris. Awesome. Uh, today we have a very special guest. It's Felix, our founder. Welcome, Felix. Thank you so much. Thank you. So How much. are you doing today? I'm great. This is uh, this is a great time. Founder of the biggest <laughs> NFT game currently on blockchain. How does that title feel? I mean, uh, it's earned. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, it feels good. We have been working hard to reach uh, our current you know situation in the market, and and um, and it feels good. We are on a good path. So. Mm. Has this, by, by becoming the biggest NFT game, has that, this always been the vision? Um, I would say so. I would say so that, that uh, I've been in the space for a couple of years and um, a lot of the games and a lot of the actors in the market uh, operating have you know, great aesthetics and, and great visions, but they are uh, you know, quite uh, limited in, in, in terms of making a massive you know, multi-million user player base uh, on Shane game. And, and that's, I think, where we, we really nailed to go after the big, the big, uh, the big market. Mm. And uh, talking about having a multi, uh, multi-million player uh, base, um, we have insane amount of uh, NFTs in the game, uh, the picks. 1.7 billion NFTs, actually. Yeah. Um, Share a little bit the, the initial idea with having that set amount of, of NFTs. Um, it's a good question. I mean, uh, it, it, it was quite a, a quite a, a workload just to um, map the entire world. We wanted to make a digital rendition, a digital copy of of the world. We, we I think we initially wanted to do it, you know, one to one, of 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 a meter wise, but that would put us in, you know. 1.7 trillion uh, <laughs> picks or NFTs in the game, and that was obviously too much. Um, so, so we, we cramped it down. We made the different, the different tiers bigger uh, percentages to their, you know, their hexagons. Uh, and and um, I think, uh, yeah, we will land at 1.7 billion. And I currently we minted out or we sold 450, yeah. something like that. So, so we're on a good trajectory of, of selling out all our picks within the three-year basis, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, b- b- by having this huge amount of NFTs to start with, uh, making the land smaller and smaller, or the world smaller and smaller, uh, because you expand your, your NFTs to, to territories. Uh, can you share a little bit about that? I mean, there's, there's uh, as I said, in, uh, I touched upon earlier, there's... There's room for growth. I mean, all, a lot of other you know players in the market, the Central Land, Sandbox, they have a finite supply of their land lots, and they sold out quite quickly. Uh, and, and currently, if you want to be a new player and building your on your lot in in these games, uh, some of these land lots are not sold for under a couple of thousands of dollars just to get into the game and start making your own land. As a game developer, there's a lot. Of, that's a lot of money, uh, and and to get started with with IX, you simply you can start just by farming. You can start by farming your assets, and, and to get going that way. So so I th- I think on a long trajectory of you know eight to ten years, we will see all the 1.7 billion picks traded and eventually being minted and traded, but also then. Uh, developed into, uh, to, into merging territories. So all basically picks will, I would, I, would, I would speculate six or seven years, be only territories. And what we do with the territories by then, well, that's, that's the next chapter in our, in our game mm. story. Mm. Um, I can also give you a, like a, a background to the game because we are, we are quite different from, from, from all other games in the market. And I think there was a gap Two years ago, when we started with this, there was a gap. We saw that um, a lot of other casual gamers, they had, you know, nice little figures. They had nice looking animals. You can play them, you can uh, breed them, and etc. And But there wasn't really a game that attracted a target group of, you know, people who are hustlers, people who wants to make money, who wants to trade, 
who likes to do poker, who likes this kind of strategy thinking mm -hmm. in the market. And hence, we, we thought about, okay, how can we combine the mentality of, you know, being competitive uh, in a fun way, but also building an empire. So taking in taking in game mechanics from Monopoly, taking in game mechanics from from all these kind of classical board games uh, and making it a huge, uh, huge potential with, with a lot of assets, with, you know, endless supply, basically, from start how it looks like. Yeah. Now we know that, you know, already we sold out 40% yeah. or 30%. So it goes fast. But that, that means that, you know, in comparison to other games, uh, you can get started now. It doesn't mean, I mean, like Anthony, the, one of the biggest ways in our game, you came a long way, mm. but there's still room for new players mm, no. because there's so many picks left to be, be handled. Mm. And, you know, the rewards mechanisms are dependent on how much um, trading there is, right? So it all goes back in this nice loop. So it doesn't matter if, you know, well, you already secured all the, re all the rewards, there's new rewards coming. Yeah. And they're coming from the marketplace. So we have... We have built this game on very, very sound uh, tokenomics and for longevity of it. Yeah. And that's where, you know, I think we, we are in a very nice position right now to conquer the market and, and to, to hold on to this, to this position that we, we set ourselves into. I, I love that, what you're talking about, about the strategic part of it. That it's, it's just, you take a look at it, it's very, very simple to learn, right? But you can evolve and it, it could be, take years to master, right? And uh, you, were, you mentioned the marketplace. We have a lot of transactions. People are actually looking at us now. What are these guys doing? How come they have so many transactions? Tell us a little bit about the marketplace. How can it explode and grow so fast? It's so, so um, I mean, we learned a lot since, since we launched. Uh, and I think it was the first time we built games on chain. And, and on chain, there's, there's uh, limitations. Uh, and uh, we, we chose the best network to launch on Polygon, but, but still we are, you know, topping the gas guzzlers every day now. Yeah. It's 10 to 15% of, of the gas fee we are, are produced by our top three contracts, marketplace being one of them, uh, also mission control. But, but I think, uh, you know, we are, we are, we are coming up to, to a release of our marketplace 2.0. And, and, uh, I know Anthony, you spent, uh, you know, thousands of hours, yeah. uh, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. It's my life. It's, yeah. <laughs> but 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 hopefully that that kind of that kind of quality time on the marketplace will be more uh, enhanced now because yeah. we will bundle together transactions. So you will be able to to make more faster transactions or more bundled transactions together. So your operating time at the marketplace or at at the, at the game will be more efficient. Mm. Uh, but but uh, you know we we we, we um, initially we set out to to I mean <clears throat> a lot of the game development is also doing research mm -hmm. and and uh, we understood quite quite quickly that in order to make uh, IXT which is you know the the glue in our game um, worth anything you need to have high utility and so the marketplace is only dictate with IXT. And hence we have a lot of transactions is that we're using this to go back to different kind of staking rewards or rewards um, splits. So every transaction splits up in, in different kind of boxes. So a lot of some of the fees of, of one transaction goes back to the marketplace, uh, rewards pool, etc. And this is, this is one part of us having a lot of transactions. Mm. And, and this will also just increase the, the different uh, boxes of, of rewards. Exactly. So with V2, we're we go, we going from two or three to eight. Mm. And we will split it up over the different in-game corporations. Mm. So, so uh, it, it, there's a lot of new, uh, cool uh, new features being added to the contract. They're both optimized for the users. They're both optimized for gas efficiency, and they're both optimized for, for the token economy. Mm. Mm. And, and we're, we're moving towards a fully decentralized, uh, eventually, uh, setup. We, we, we have the meta share staking uh, with, with the in-game corporations. Um, we really try to, to get all the, the revenue streams back to the, to the ecosystem. 
exactly. Um, th there's, I mean, there's there's a there's a learning curve for for new users. I know this this uh, studio sessions here is 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 about onboarding new users, but there's a learning session of of of, of, um, of you know you're talking about DAOs, you're talking about Indian corporations, and and essentially uh, what you need to understand is that uh, this game will be. All of the rewards, all of the uh, all of the fees generated, will go back into different kind of DAOs, and these DAOs will be governed and will be owned by our players itself, and that is the that is the true ownership, or that is the true decentralization that we have envisioned mm. with this game, mm. and it's been taking quite a while to go here. But it's going live now. Mm. So, so yeah, because we have been talking about it for the last year, and it's actually now it's starting to to play out and uh, really start to have effect in the game. I think it's important to mention that that's where we're headed. Uh, but like you say, th this is supposed to be a more more uh, brief introduction for for small players. Um, the the easiest threshold or the lowest threshold that we have currently in the game is is mission control. I would say. Mm. Um, is that design per design, or, or what's the intention with, with mission control? I think it's uh, going back to the research. We saw, I mean, we've been studying Axie Infinity quite well. They started out with the same journey that we did, launched in the, in the 2017 bull market, and they survived for a couple of years, and then they boomed last bull market in 2021. And we have a lot to learn about them. We have a lot to learn about how they build up their mechanics, how they build up on their play-to-earn style, and how they interact with people uh, the right way possible. And I think mission control is just that. It's a way for people to get started with IX, learning about the different assets, without actually spending any money, just spending your time. And eventually when you build up, you know, uh, a portfolio of assets, you can start to trade them, you can start to expand into the marketplace because in the marketplace is where you can uh, get your picks and the picks in, in eventually will generate more IX2 and that's the end goal of it all to generate as much IX2 as possible mm. and, and this is the, of course the play to earn element uh, within the game has that always been uh, a main driver uh, in the, the game development to, to have this easy accessible play to earn mechanics um, yes, I mean, it, I mean, it's it's it, it's uh, it's. I would say it's a lie to say that it was intentionally designed from that from day one. It come as as we evolved as a as a group of people, as a team, and as a game, and and, and interacting with our users. But intentionally, yes, that was you know we we wanted to have a good way for users to get started on a on a low entry level. Mm. Um, of course, we, we always talk about IXT being the glue, uh, and it's the, the only uh, ERC20 token in the game. Uh, the rest of the assets are other type of contracts. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, why is it like that? What, what advantages do we have with this current setup compared to, to other players? Uh, for, for one, I think uh, we, just, we, we spend a lot of time uh, you know, understanding how other games have done it and what causes kind of inflate inflation in in game assets and in in token assets and we decided to to not jump the gun and create several different tokens just 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 using ixt and ixt will appreciate in price no matter what so other assets can inflate and they can deflate based on you know a game mechanics such as you know a rover can 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 um, start to rust. They can, uh, parts can miss. You know, it's different kind of consumables that makes this game fun, and you need to spend other astro credits. And you know, we have a, there needs to be a dynamic in the different assets. Uh, 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 um, but you you can't inflate IX2. So I think um, it's a combination of having a, a sound tokenomics for IX2 and not adding dramatic inflation in assets. And that's what we spend a lot of time on. And I mean, we are currently, you know, one of the biggest game in the market. And our token is, is by market cap only, I'd say, uh, top 500, where there's, you know, there's a lot of other uh, products out there with, with 30, 40, 50 times our market cap with zero users. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, currently our token is 
super undervalued. Mm. Uh, and, but but time will tell. You know, we are we are in the long game. We don't we want to stretch anything. We want we don't want to um, make any promises. Making uh, any yeah. promises, but you know, it's efficient markets. And so and, and at some point, it will show. Mm. Yeah. Re- regarding this, though, with time would tell. You know, I'm triggered by action. I I'm triggered by people who, who do what they say they're gonna do. And I love listening to you. And you know, I, I find you brilliant. And this is why I love the company so much. Tell tell us uh, the viewers here. Uh, what's your vision? One, two years from now, where are we? And I want a lot of bragging now. Right? <laughs> I want you to really let them know what you believe. Because I've seen it. I hear how the, what the people are talking about in the office. Uh, please let people know. What do you think? I think you know from 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 a company perspective. I think we we've, we've outgrown these these uh, this new office. Uh, I think we are uh, on, on several different global offices uh, around the world, serving user bases primarily from from Asia, in China, Vietnam, Korea. Uh, because that's where we really grow right now, and we need we need a strong presence there. From a, from a game perspective, you know, I, I'd say we are I say we are on a, on a strong trajectory of selling out within three years. I would say, so so that would mean that we have approximately 500,000 users, active users on a daily basis, and 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 um, with that kind of that kind of influx on on users, that will also affect the price. So there will be. I would, I think, you know, it will be more rapidly. We will increase the amount of in-game corporations. We will swallow other game developers. We will swallow other game studios into our game, and it will be a lot of new. It will be a metaverse for metaverses. I love it. Uh, for 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 eventually, I think that is, you know, opening up for APIs, opening up for uh, mods to build their own uh, in-game corporations and offering services to our strong and growing user base. Yeah. That is the vision, that is the vision. And we are in a really good position to get, to, to get us there. This is what I want the people watching to understand, that we are actually the front runners. Yes. You, you're, you're not making the mistakes that our predecessors have done. We're learning from that and we're just evolving. We're doing it better, everything better and better. And this is, I think, this is a recipe for success. So yeah. I love it. Yeah. So, uh, on a final note, what's the next step? What can people? We have a cargo drop upcoming, uh, just uh, within a couple of weeks. Uh, we will talk more about that in another episode. But but what what's the next? What's the the the, the what do you call it? The, um, the closest future. What do we have in store? I mean, there's there's a lot of new releases coming out uh, uh, this this spring. Uh, we have the cargo drop. It's a great great entry point for new users. We have, you know, a, a quite low token price. It's a great entry, uh, entry price for, for speculators and for investors. So I think there's, there's, there's room to get started because when you start, when you are, have skin in the game, you start to lean in and you start to get growing and you start to earn money. And that's what we're all about. We're playing the game and earning money. Mm. That's what we all want to do. Okay, on that note, thank you very much for uh, watching. Thank you, Felix. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Thank we'll you. see you next time.